Hi. Hi. Hi folks, welcome to Bird Dogs at Field. This episode, we make our annual trip to northern New Hampshire and we visit Lloyd Murray at Long Gone Kennels. Lloyd has some of the finest English setters in the country for wild bird hunting. They're multiple uh, field trial winners and they're, they're great dogs and we love to film them and give an example of what really good bird work is. So let's join Lloyd in the field. Mark? That'll be good. Right in those alders. Oop. He's saying that bird's right in front of him. Let me try that. Find him. I'm going to go around this way. Trust your dog, Lloyd. Yeah, I know. I'm going to check over here. But there's a big blow down there. I couldn't get through. Here it goes. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete, and brought to you in part by Pete Chew Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, takes on the nuisance of foot odor. Thoroughgood footwear, made for hunters, by hunters, since 1892. Tim Pond Wilderness Camps, the place you've been looking for, but didn't know how to find. Looking for probes and splash, I don't see any. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy.
Can I check up here? No. Oh. I don't want to do what I did last time. So you're looking the other way. Should be right there. The way he's acting. Yeah. All right. Right, pork's re relocated. He's looking right into here. The and, right there. All right. I'm going to try to cut this bird off. I'm going to go in and come back towards the dog. Okay. Because this bird's running. Let me know if you hear it or see it. All right. This is right here, right on the corner. Got it. Well, the bird was right here in the path. Is that right? Yeah. I bet that bird ran from there. Huh? over there. Uh, I'm production is not his doing. A little bit, but she's a real bird. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Heel, 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 heel. We need to take just a brief moment for a sponsor's message, and then we'll be right back with more bird work with Lloyd Murray's Lawn Gone Setters. Whether you walk, run, hunt, or compete with your dog, Native Performance Dog Food offers the correct nutritional energy level. Native understands a dog's nutritional needs from puppy to senior and for any activity. That's why Native is different. The concentrated energy in each bag of Native dog food gives your canine athlete or household companion the competitive edge to achieve peak performance. And Native formulas use balanced, wholesome ingredients for a smooth digestive transition between Native food levels. Experience the native difference. Go to nativedogfood.com today. Check it out. Your dog will be happy, and so will you. This is two-time champion Long Gone Porky. He's also a runner-up champion on grouse. 
Um, he won the International Amateur Woodcock Championship as a fall derby. He won the Region 1 Walking Shooting Guy Championship this spring in Maine in May. He was just named New England Shooting Dog of the Year, Walking Shooting Dog of the Year. He's a good little dog. He's been a good dog for us. Nice producer. I like his puppies. Um, we just ran him an hour. He had a couple good pieces of work. Another piece of work where I moved him three times because <laughs> I didn't believe him and he knocked the bird. Then he had to stop the flesh here in the back. Typical summer workout. Normally we're finding more birds in here than this, but it's pretty hot today. And uh, I can see I've got to polish him up a little bit. But he's, uh, I've killed a lot of birds over him. He's a good hunting dog and a good field trial dog. He's just the kind of dog we want to keep around. He got into a porcupine last week. I was with Tony Bly down in Tony's training cover. And he came back and we threw him up on the tailgate and pulled quills for about 15 minutes and he let us open his mouth and pull quills out. He's just a sweet dog. So um, again, that's Long Gone Porky doing some work on Woodcock. Can you see him good? Well, not real good. Well, you've got him. I mean, you. I'd say I would have shot that bird, but I would have shot at the bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was nice all around. That was good work. Yeah, nice point, held it. I figured that bird was in those pines. Yeah. Heel, heel, heel. Hey, bud. Not sure where he is. I got him. He's right in front of me, Paul. Let me get that too. Yeah. Go right up there. I don't care if you flush your bird. That'd be alright. Woo! Ho, 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 ho. Right from under my I feet. No, you got that one. Whoa! <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Whoop. Right from under my feet. I know feet. you got that one. Whoa! <laughs> Good boy. That's what we gotta do send you in with the camera. Boy, heel, 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 heel. This probes and splash right there. You have a dog on Boop. Boop. Point. Boop. Paul. Yeah, just keep coming up the course. Boop. Shoo. 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 Boop. Boop. There's a little quiver in his tail, so when you get here, I'm going to move him. I'm going to walk up and tap him on the head. Oop. Here it goes. Right over your head up. Well, I got it. I got it. It was behind him. 
a little off his left shoulder. He was here and the bird was here. I got it though when I went up and Wait, see that again. the bird was right there. There was a little quiver in his tail, so I was gonna move him. Woo. But the bird went up, topped out over the alders. So you might have got it. I don't know. I got I it. I got it. Yeah. Good work. Good boy. I just see a little quiver. I was just gonna move him. All right. He knew it was here, but boop. Boop. He's looking towards you. He's looking towards the river. He's right there. Yeah, I'm gonna move him. Shoo. Oop. 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 He says it's over here. <laughs> There it goes. There it goes. Okay, wait, it dropped right down. There it goes, it's walking. Paul, it's gonna walk across the course. Okay, okay there it is. Oh, I see it. it. It acts like it's hurt. It does, I see it. Oh yeah, it's, it's hopping. I'm out of bullets. I'm gonna get him, whoop, whoop. I'm gonna get him out of here, I'm gonna heal him. It is hurt. That bird's hurt. Feel bad for it. Boop. Boop. Well, heel. 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 That's why I couldn't get it to fly, I guess. Heel. It is hurt. That bird's hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Feel bad for it. Boop. Boop. Heel. Heel. That's why I couldn't get it to fly, I guess. Heel. We need to take just a brief moment for a sponsor's message, and then we'll be right back with more bird work with Lloyd Murray's Long Gone Setters. A hunter and a dog have an unspoken and unbreakable bond. They rely on the feel and response of a trusted shotgun. It's time your boots live up to that kind of expectation. For over 125 years, Thorough Good Boots have kept America working with comfort, safety, and durability. Thoroughgood's outdoors lineup has been built on the same rock-solid foundation, and that's why Thoroughgood boots are worn by the flush. Pick up a pair of Thoroughgood boots and get the job done. This is long gone Daquan. We just ran him about 50 minutes. He had, I think, four finds. Um, one of them, my camera wasn't on, but Paul's was the first one. Um, we ran into a a wounded bird at the end. I don't know why, it's just flipping around. We left that alone. Um, he's been a good dog for me. His mother's got nine titles, I think. Phillips Half Moon, she's by Long Gone Boston. His daddy is Long Gone Studley, um, who had three grouse championship titles. Quan uh, had a good spring this year. He placed in the Frankie McLaughlin Amateur Shooting Dog Classic on the Cape. He placed in the Bernie Murray Amateur Shooting Dog Stake in Maine, and he classic, and he placed in the George Johnson, um, I mean the uh, Granite State Open Shooting Dog Classic in Northern New Hampshire Club. He had a good spring. I think he placed in every um, club trial that we went to this spring. He's uh, a nice dog, a sweet dog. I've killed a lot of birds over him. Uh, I've got a puppy by him that I like, so he's, he's a keeper. He's been a good dog for us. He's a good grouse dog, good woodcock dog. Um, and I, I run him on quail and he wins on quail too. So um, I've been pretty happy with him. Okay. This is long gone Juicy. 
also known as Juju Bean. She's runner-up champion in the Wingland Open Grouse Championship. Um, she's been a good bitch for us. We've bred her five times, I think. Um, she's showing some really nice puppies. This year's New England Open Derby of the Year is out of her and by Porky. Um, when she was a derby, she won the Woodcock for charity. Then that spring, she ran in Kentucky with Dave and won first in a derby classic. Went up to Pennsylvania and won the Venango Grouse Dog Club Derby. Uh, then she came to Maine and won the Garfield Wall Cliff Hale Derby. Then she uh, won the Northern New Hampshire Derby. I mean, she's every place she ran when she was a Derby, she won on Wild Birds and Liberated Birds. Um, but I like her puppies. That's I mean, we hunt her a lot. She's been she hasn't trialed a whole bunch because I've got her pregnant all the time. I'll run her this fall though, and I'll hunt her this fall. But she, uh, I've got a puppy by her at home. We call Kill Kenny or Kenny was whelped at the end of April. She had trouble with that litter and lost some puppies, but we kept Kilkenny. So um, Steve LeBeck's got a young dog by him that I really like, Witch City Charlie. And then uh, Kelly Short's got a first year shooting dog, second year shooting dog, Jordy, that I really like. She's gorgeous on point, nice, good bird finder. So Juju's been a good dog for us all around. We're bred her, she's won for us, we hunt with her. Um, she's just been a sweet dog. All right. All right. Ah. Find him. Here it goes. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. She's shaking her head. Not moving. Good girl. Get that itch grass on her. Good girl. All right. So we just got done running three dogs. We probably moved 10 or 12 woodcock. Um, everybody had bird work. I don't use GPS units um, and tracking collars because for me, they're not allowed in field trials actively. So I wouldn't be allowed to use one. I'd never find my dog. And I train with guys who use them and they just lean on them. They wait. We haven't heard their bell in 10 minutes and then you hear the beeper go off and the thing goes beep. And then they know their dog's standing somewhere so they look at it with that tennis elbow look and, and they go find their dog. But in field trials, they're not allowed. So if I personally used one, I'd lose the ability to keep track of the bell. And if my dog's out of bell range and I can't hear it when it stops, it's running too big for our cover. I mean, this is our cover. It's alders, it's cut over, it's, we don't run a lot of hardwood and open pine ridges and stuff like that because there's no birds in it. I, I used a beeper collar back in the 80s and my dog's patterns went to hell. So I stopped using it and I don't use a tracker and I don't use GPS, I don't know how to use them. If my dog's running so big I can't hear the bell, that's the issue, not the fact that I don't have a GPS collar. So for me, I can't use those things. And I'm not worried about a safety issue because if they're running so big that I can't hear them, I'll address that issue and make sure that they're not running out of bell range because I don't want that. But that, that's just for me. Some guys just are addicted to that, but they get in a field trial, they're lost. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode with Lloyd Murray at Long Gone Kennels. Great opportunity to see how the English setters that are well known uh, work birds and I thought they did a great job. Uh, I hope to meet you in the field someday. Bird Dogs Afield presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by Pete Shoe Dryer, Thorough Good Footwear and Tempon Wilderness Camps.